Hello friends, welcome to Tech Advice channel. Today, in this video, I'm gonna teach you that how can you join two table in your BigQuery. So, friends, uh, as we are currently using BigQuery right now, uh, uh, cloud section already developed by Google. So, uh, BigQuery uh, have new features also. So many uh, different different products Google are developing. So one of uh, their product is Google BigQuery. So that one is very useful because uh, we no need to use any uh, uh, physical hardware or, or something uh, like a, a local server. We no need to uh, use that one. We can use everything in cloud. So friends, uh, today's topic is uh, BigQuery uh, table joining. So I will show you how can you join two tables in BigQuery. So uh, if you are seeing this video first time, so please subscribe my channel and please see this video till the end. Then you can learn how can you join your BigQuery table. So first of all, uh, we need to visit our cloud uh, uh, platform. So let's go to cloud platform. For that, I need to visit uh, cloud So Google Cloud you need to visit. I have a project cloud here. I click okay. Console. I'll give this link uh, in my description. Please you can visit also from that uh, link. And if you guys don't know that how can create uh, this BigQuery project as well as data set uh, table, you can see my video. I will give in the description. So here are my cons uh, console platform. So I need to visit in uh, BigQuery product. So I need to go to navigation menu then I just click BigQuery if you because I I hear a pin mark so if you cannot find here like uh, you if you are using first time then you cannot find here so you can go down and you can see here uh, data uh, data label here where it is uh, yeah big data under big data you can see the BigQuery then you can click here okay So here is my console. So I will show you the uh, uh, public dataset, which one I'm using, the BigQuery public dataset. I will provide this link into the description. You can go through the, from that link. Okay. So I show you the, my first table. You see 331 uh, underscore request. Like I, I make a query. Okay. And I make uh, I make a limit 10. Uh, if you guys uh, don't want to limit, then you can select full. You can remove just remove the uh, uh, limit, and if you guys don't want to make a, a like full uh, schema, then you just select your schema like this. You can select okay. So I can make format also like this uh, format more uh, than format, so it will format uh, according to SQL. So okay. Uh, now here is my query for from first table. Then I'll show you. I run. And you can see here is a data okay here is a data you see uh, I have a data already here you see from this table so now uh, I'm gonna show you that uh, second table so guys here one thing I, I would say we do that uh, when you join two table so there will be a, a primary key like uh, using that primary key you can join both table right so here my primary key is that complaint type unique key as well as complaint description also but but i take complaint type and unique key okay because for each complaint type have the uh, unique key so i will show you the second table okay now second table it is second table uh, i just first make a query then I, after that I, i'll show you okay i can open I, I can do one thing i can open uh, another another one so it will be helpful to understand Another tab I open so uh, you can see from here itself. Okay, let me go to BigQuery. Okay, uh, navigation. Okay, BigQuery. BigQuery, okay. 
now I came to public page to say it or stay in a second table. So here is my second table. So I select uh, unique key competitor, complete description. Uh, then I should send, change some uh, some some field like uh, street number, street city, zip, country code. Okay, guys. Uh, now I already selected. You can see, and I make ten limit. Okay, so now I run this one. You can see here. Here is my second table details as I selected this uh, this many schema. Okay, so here is my first table, and here is my second table. Okay, so now I join this with this one. So how can I join? So uh, I will show you a basic logic here. I make a label. Okay, so guys, you see here carefully. You guys can follow my rule also, or you can guys if you have better solution, then you can do that one also. So okay. Uh, I remove this, uh, this limit. So now I make label this one. Okay. So now again I'm selecting select select. So okay, this one I'm selecting whole things. Okay, here and I make this one as a label one. Okay. So it's fine. Okay. Now you see if I run this one, then I can see the result. Okay, as I remove the limit, so that's why it's running a little bit more time. So, okay, here is my data, you see, 70, here 7.7 .7 million, okay. Okay. Okay, 700,070, okay. So, now, now uh, I join with the second one. So, for second one, you see here, what I do, what I'm going to do, just, I make a left join so left join so here make left join then package my query then close this one is okay now here you see I copy whole whole thing and put here inside left join you see here carefully left join bracket my query and then bracket close bracket close and i remove this limit okay so for re for left joint you need to use condition also primary key i need to use primary key so can uh, both table unique key present all right so now here i need to i give name um, like uh, anything uh, 311 uh, join okay I should not give number here join okay join okay no problem join i think i should not give sometime it will take wrong so okay uh, mm, i can give unique okay unique okay no problem so now i need to use on condition like this first table first table join with second table but which condition so i need to use on on i need to use on condition i need to on condition unique Sorry, I need to use on condition uni dot unique key. So here is unique key is uh, here uh, a primary key. Then level one dot unique key. Okay. So you see for this case both case unique keys are similar. Okay. And here is showing which unique keys are actually uh, uh, duplicate because uh, duplicate because first one also present unique key and the second table also one unique key so far that's why i need to choice from which unique key i need so i need from level one campaign also campaign also same thing dot she complain also okay now you see here are already so now from first Table, I take a unique key, complete type, complete description, or owning department, owning department, source, status. Okay. So next table, like second table, I need, I need this one. Street number, street name, city, and others. So here I copy and the paste. Okay. You guys can write also here like uh, before, before, uh, 
before stage number you can write here uh, from second table name also because uh, sometime what happens sometime you have a double name then it will uh, showing error okay okay so i write here from second table this one from second table okay so now here my joining factor run you see here uh it's, it's, it's uh, green color screen it's okay it's fine when it's showing that how, how many mb it is how much mb it is and um, uh, a size also showing here okay so now i need to run then i can get this many fields okay so let's see run it's running now this one is previous uh, data like first table data now you see it's done already so now you see for each column i joined already you see here all column I joined already. You see here all join. So two table join already using one condition. Now, friend, I want to say with you that if you have more condition, like example here, unique key, I want to um, use more condition. So can my data also specific. So then I use and again same. I just copy this one and change the schema. Uh, in them. Okay. I use complaint type also like my two condition work based on these two primary key I taken two primary key when these two primary key match then my results so okay so let's see let's see run it's running now okay now you see it's also result came already so if you have more than two three condition that you can give so it will be more specific so guys like like this way uh, you can left join from uh, uh, one table to another table and in BigQuery and uh, one thing I want to discuss with you that uh, here I did left join so uh, you remember here in MySQL normally we do left join left outer join but here if you use left join as well as left outer join result will be same okay so guys uh, uh, this way you can join two tables in BigQuery so if you have any problem regarding joining so let me know and uh, please uh, share this video more and more a like comment uh, and if you need any help or anything then you can just uh, ping me so uh, it will be helpful for us to understand that uh, what you guys need so thank you for watching my video thank you very much